Hello, this is Peter Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, we're going to discuss how to make a mock-up. A mock-up is used to be able to make some other object. For this case, we're going to make a cell phone mock-up, and we're going to use that maybe later on to make a cell phone case or something. So, this one we're going to work on is going to be a Nokia 630. And I'm going to quit talking like I've got a really high voice because that hurts <coughs> after a while. But, basically, we're going to create a fake object. So, part design. Create a new sketch. XY plane. And draw a box. And you could do this for any any cell phone. It's just the this one I have sitting around, I'm not using. I'm trying 9.8. Say okay. Play tool. Come on. I like to set these back to their original sizes just to make sure it stays those sizes before I try to mess with the radius of these. Control click to select the other three. Come on. I don't know why it's slowing down right now. Sorry about that. So you got all of them selected and set equal. And then I'm going 
going to Luckily, this one is 10 millimeters, so really all we have to do is just... Now, we're going to copy the sketch. And paste it. And make that one hide. We'll be back with that. Pad. Say OK. Not very impressive, just a block, right? Now, what I would do now is I would figure out where the holes are, how big they are. So for, let's see, this is the top, basically. sketch that's all I don't know what happened there so I want to make sure I'm on this Headphone jack is about 3.8 millimeters in diameter. So it should be 1.9. Approximately 1.6 millimeters from the bottom. One point six plus the one point nine is the number you need. Gotta always remember to we're we're working from the center, right? So And then, how far from the corner to the center of the circle? About 19.
then close that. pocket that and then I'm gonna say five. Oh it's already five so okay. So that creates our mockups a hole in for the headphone jack. So now we're making the hole for the USB. So 8.2. So 7.4. Point two for the height of might want to do is take and create a line select that line make it solid and then distance here from this to this so 
by 3.1. Just put it right in the middle. And you can use this if you turn this into a construction line. the symmetry constraint and now we can try to figure out how far up it should be from the bottom yeah four millimeter so this one So I have that and that selected. And I can say four. Oops. set those right here. Let's say two point six. It's a little too big. No, 2.4. Okay. Okay, that should be good enough for government work. Let's see. Pocket that. I'll go ahead and make it five. Now, if you notice, most of your cell phones are not flat like this, as far as the, the edges. That was why I had you keep the other sketch. We're going to take that sketch. And we're going to make the pocket disappear for right now. Make the object disappear for the moment. We're going to create a new sketch. On the, I'm going to go with the XZ plane. we're going to do is start off by just creating a box here. to 
now we're not gonna we're gonna end up moving this later even though we want we do want tons of this so it doesn't move and this I'm leaving it four millimeters that's not a problem you can make it bigger make it smaller doesn't really matter except that we're going to end up using it to create buttons later we're going to make a um, common so we want to kind of make sure that it's maybe at least two three millimeters so that when we stick our buttons out they'll probably only be like a millimeter high but you want to make sure that they're going to be within this now I'm going to delete this and this is going to be a little tricky because you want these to come in say about a half a millimeter or so see so let's go from here to here and give it a 0 0.05 or 0.5 sorry Okay, and we're going to come up here. And do the 3.1. You want to go click this. Click this. And then bring the middle here just so it's kind of touching. Just so it's touching the line there and then make sure that these are together close that okay you can see both sketches here I'm gonna flip up so I can see the tops because this sketch here that we just made needs to be touching the other sketch See how it's slightly inside of it. Now, what we might want to do is switch this other sketch. Go over to draft. And turn that sketch into a draft object so 
Then we can make that one hide it. I don't like the draft grid. Back over to park. Okay. I'm going to create a sweep. Sketch four, create a solid, and then we're going to select the sketch. So go one, reload, say okay. Now I'm going to hide that sketch, hide the other object. Now you see, if you look really closely, We now have a curved inner surface part. And so we want to bring the pocket back up. Now I'm going to copy the sweep. Control copy. Say yes. Control E. Pocket, control, hit the sweep, and form a cut. Okay, and now if I just, I'm going to hide that sweep right now. But you can tell, now tell that there's a rounding to the edge. It wasn't there before. Actually, oops. I goofed that up. I want to undo that. Sorry. I'll hide that sweep too. Because we need to make the buttons first, I forgot. And so I'm going to click over here. So this one, go over to part design. Uh, and there's two buttons on it. So we're going to use the slot tool. So these buttons are about three millimeters tall. So that would be a 1.5 millimeter radius.
button because it's still 2.5. right in the middle so I'm just gonna go with the five millimeter Seven. Now we can close that. Now instead of padding it, because I don't want it to be attached to the object, uh, the main pocket part, I'm going to go apart. I am going to extrude that. Uh, say. One, one point five. I'll allow that. And we don't want in the Z direction. We want it in the X, I believe. Say okay. Whoops. No, no, no. Don't say okay. Create solid first. Then say okay. And let's see if that worked right. So what we were going to do is use the extrude here, Oops. control, well, unhide the, sec the second sweep, go 
to extrude the sweep here and use common. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that pocket, we're going to use the other sweep. pocket, cut that other sweep, the reason that we can't just put the buttons directly on the um, cut part is because it's not a planar face, it's not an X, Y, or Z plane, it's a, because it's shaped like a, a curve, you can't just put that those buttons directly on that curve it won't allow you to so that's why I created the extrude as a separate a separate part and then did a common that way the face here on the inside of this um, the inside of the button matches the same curvature of this surface so what we should be able to do hopefully is fuse those together. Now we've got our buttons connected with our Fox fake cell phone here. And those are the only buttons that are actually on the Nokia 630. And you could sit here and put like, if you wanted to, you could put the slot on the top of here. You go back over to part design. stuck we can create another slot So that's thirty three point four minus. I'm just going to eyeball. About two millimeters down. And that will be 
your pocket, but only like one millimeter. Whoa. Huh. Why does it disappear? <laughs> Cancel that. Well, if it does something like that to you, what you could do is you probably should have put the hole before you started these these other parts. So let's see if I can do extrude. Create solid one, but I want to go negative one and say okay. Take that fusion, get the extrude. And there we've got our little speaker cut for it. It's really up to you how much detail you want to do into this. Um, from the bottom, I could put the, the hole for the where the camera would be and where the microphone on the back is. I never understood why they put a mic on the back. Cause sometimes it's really hard for people to hear you when the mic's in the back of it. But you get the point. You, you can create a nice little mock-up file. I just the, the the biggest thing was to do the sweep that uses the same um, so that you can get that nice curvature on the mock-up the back of the mock-up so um, Nokia six thirty mock -up. and then you could use this object while you're creating your uh, cell phone case or something well basically I would create extrudes that came out so that I, it covered this covered the hole there made sure that there was an extrude here and one back at where the microphone is and like I said the two for the camera and the speaker and then only come in about a millimeter or two maybe into the screen area as long as it's not touching the actual screen so hopefully this helps some of you thank you for watching goodbye